Welcome back everyone to the finale of my Lord Helix series. After the first two parts, showing the epic journeys of All Knight and Capito, Lord Dome and Lord Helix, as they both solo run the Hoenn region, it's now time for the series finale. Capito and All Knight will now fight to see who's truly the more powerful fossil Pokemon. It's time for a death battle. There can be only one. The rules of the following battle are the following. There will be two best of three matches. The first one will be a series of 1 vs 1 battles on showdown, using only their base forms. Anything is allowed in the battles as long as it's not hacking. Also, in between the battles, All Knight and Capital are allowed to change their movesets and EVs to counter what the opponent is doing. After this best of 3, there will be one final round, another best of 3 using their evolved forms, Omastar and Capitops. After this, a winner will be decided. Now that this is established, let's have a quick look at the base stats of the battling Pokemon. So far, there's no obvious winner as they're both good but in different ways. One huge advantage Capitops has is that it has a move Giga Drain to deal 4 times super effective damage and is faster, but the battle will ultimately be decided by which player can counter the other one more effectively. I played as Capitol and a shout out to my boy Monty Monferno who helped me make this video, he played as Omanite. So now that the stage is set... Uh, let's get Oh, the power! That was a surprising first round. Lord Helix takes this easily as its Dynamax power is too much for Capito to handle. They even took the Giga Drain and hit back even harder, but it's not over yet, as the two Pokemon power up to their max power. They engage each other in one more epic final battle. The fight's over, and Cabotops is the last one standing, winning the final battle and claiming the championship belt of Hoenn. Though this really did come down to their EVs being just right to counter the other. This concludes the 3 part series which is now over. Anyways, to be honest, I'm sorry this video was really short compared to my other ones, it might have been a bit anticlimactic way to end the series, but to be honest I did actually want to do this video as I wanted to move on to other projects, but I knew some of you guys really wanted to see how this series would turn out so I didn't want to let anyone down. But now that this is over, I'll be moving on to new projects. I've already finished my next conventional challenge run which will be public any day now, but after that I'll be focusing on more ROM games like Fire Red Omega and Emerald 386 where I'll be doing genuinely hard challenge runs with permadeath rules. It adds a lot of suspense to it. But thank you all for watching anyways and supporting me, and I look forward to seeing you all again. This is Ding Dong signing out.